Okay, so I did a YouTube Shorts video the other day uh, comparing the power usage on an original PlayStation compared to a Raspberry Pi 4 running a PlayStation emulator. I'll show that video at the end because I know not everybody watches YouTube Shorts videos. But let's show you how to install DuckStation because it works really well. So I'm using my build of KDE Plasma and PyKiss is already installed in that. So we launch PyKiss. If you haven't already got PyKiss, then I've got a separate video on how to install that. Let's go down to emulation and OK. And this works in the 32-bit and the 64-bit versions. I'm using the 64-bit version as the performance is better. Uh, so let's press enter and that's installing. It offers you to download a homebrew game. I'm not going to because uh, I've got a load of ROMs and enter to run the emulator. And that's it. Simple as that. So we close it down and then we start typing duck station. You can see that it comes up. And here is Duck Station. I've got some PlayStation games on an SD card in this little tiny reader. So let's plug that in. It picks up my folder, so I can click on that and open it up and, and just navigate to where the games are. This is a stick I use for RetroPie, so it's set up for RetroPie. Um, but I'm just going to copy it over to the Documents folder. So let's pick a game. So uh, let's go with Need for Speed. And let's copy that. And we're going to put that in Home and Documents and paste that in. And then we go to System, Settings, Add Game Directory. And we're going to pick Documents and OK. And yes to search. And you can see that it's picked up the game. So now I can unplug that USB stick because I've only got uh, three USB sockets on a Pi 400. I could use this mouse with Bluetooth. This uses uh, two different frequencies for Bluetooth and also a USB dongle, but I've got it with a USB dongle at the moment. So let's plug in my Xbox controller and switch it on. And you can see that's recognized. I'm not sure if it was recognized straight away. So let's, uh, let's start the game and see if it just works without me having to configure anything. Yeah, it's not skipping any of the menus, so I'm going to need to go in and set that up. So if I press escape, and yes, and then go into settings and controller settings, hit clear all, and yes, and then just go through and populate everything. So up, and pressing the right button on the controller. Okay, so that's enough. So we'll do save profile as Xbox controller, and close that down. And let's just go back into the game. So let's just go straight into a single race. And the graphics are pretty ropey. This was ported from the original uh, PC game. But let's start off. And then let's quit out. And I want to change the resolution. So settings and enhancement settings. Uh, so let's go for two times resolution. And display settings, I'm going to turn on the frame rate. Hit close and just resume again. There you go. So straight away, just looks way, way better. And we're getting around about 30 FPS, which would be right for this sort of game. Now what happens if we try three times? I think it's probably going to go slower, but let's give it a go. So yes, and settings, enhancement and three times so 720 resolution and resume actually that feels all right and the frames are about the same so it doesn't seem to be suffering from that it could be smoother but this is an old game uh, but you can see that it looks completely different to the one times resolution and if we pause that uh, I just want to check NeoFetch, so Control alt t to see what I'm running at. It says 2.2, I'm pretty sure it's 2147. Let's just go into config.txt and have a look. Yeah, so we're running the CPU at 2147 with an over voltage of 8. I've actually got to load more games on this micro SD card. So I'm going to pop the micro SD card in, and then I'm going to shut down and reboot, and it will pick the micro SD card to boot from. And you can see I'm using a different KDE Plasma theme, and I'm also running this at 720 to get better performance. So this is Tekken 3 at two times resolution. As you can see, it seems to work really well. I guess we can try three times. Yeah, three times takes a hit. 
Yeah, definitely three times isn't worth doing. Let's pop that back to two times and try a bit of driver two. Let's take a ride in Havana. Yeah, two, two times looking nice and crisp for a PlayStation game. And the handling feels nice, uh, it feels nice and swift. We did lose a few frames, what are we looking at, 23, 24. You don't feel it so much when you're playing the game, but I guess that means that uh, three times is not going to be good. So three times, and let's resume. Oh, it does look good, but yeah, really, really slow. You can see it's definitely dropped frames. How good can this be if we put it up to, say, five times? So 1080 resolution. Obviously, you need a more powerful computer for this, really. But I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, actually, quite similar. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look way better than, uh, than three times, I would say. But as you can see, frame rate is very poor. Never seen that look so crisp. So let's drop back, back down to two. Yeah, Pro Evolution Soccer looks much crisper. Yeah, it's working all right. It's not, it's not as smooth as I'd like it, but it's still pretty good. Oh, it's going to be a goal. <laughs> now, I tried to pick some games that I haven't tried before. Destruction Derby Raw, I don't think I've tried. And this looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, nice. Not terrible handling. Looks smooth. Is there any jumps along here? That looks like a jump coming up. Yeah, happy with that. Oh, just about made that. And let's try one more. I haven't tried Courier Crisis. Oh, let's jump. Okay. Oh, crikey, like this doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> oh, it looks, it looks awful. Why does it look so bad? Oh, let's try dropping the resolution to what it would be. Uh, but that's running pretty bad. And back in. So one times resolution. For some reason that looks better because it's a bit softer. So we've got a massive jump here. Oh, it's not good though, is it? Ooh. <laughs> it's a nice solid bike. Oh yeah, well there's a reason why I haven't played this. It's not GTA, is it? Okay, so I can't end on that. I'm going to have to end on Dave Mirror because I love the game. And uh, it plays so well on this. What's really nice about this is it remembers every game that you're playing. Uh, and it remembers where you got to. I really like that. Uh, it makes it really, really nice to go back into games. Uh, if you're trying to progress through something that's really hard. It saves the point. Really, really impressive. And let's go, let's go full screen on that. And so this is one times resolution, but this game works fine in two times. Uh, but it's not worth playing on three times. And it looks so much better on this. And it also plays well. It doesn't it doesn't seem to affect the gameplay. It seems uh, the right speed and everything. I'm so used to playing this on the original hardware and, uh, and emulation. So yeah, Duck Station is excellent. Thanks to PyKiss for uh, allowing such an easy install of an amazing emulator. There's so many options in there as well. Uh, things like uh, controller on display so you can you know, see how you've done a particular game or show other people how to do it. It is, it is excellent. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I nearly forgot, this is the video that I uploaded to YouTube Shorts uh, showing the power consumption of the original PlayStation. I was interested to see how much electricity an old PlayStation uses. So let's pop a disc in and find out. So with the game and the music playing, we're still only at 8.51 watts, which is pretty reasonable. So let's say we're using it for three hours per day. So we're looking at uh, 9.31 kilowatts per year. I currently pay 35p per kilowatt hour in the day.
So that works out at £3.26 a year. Obviously you've got to add the cost of the TV, but the original PlayStation is very cheap to run. But if I use a Raspberry Pi 4, it's more like 3 watts. And I can double the resolution to make the game look way better.